Hi, I'm Logan with Alpenglow Expeditions. We're here in Squaw Valley where most of our backcountry skiing and snowboarding adventures begin. Exploring the backcountry in winter is a fantastic way to experience Lake Tahoe, but you want to come prepared with the proper clothing and equipment. Today we're going to talk about what to wear for your tour and what you can expect during the day. Typically, on a day that I'll be going for a ski tour or snowboard tour, I'll want my clothing to be layered and ready to protect me from the cold and wind, but also the intense sun. To start off, let's talk about base or next to skin layers. Cotton performs very poorly when wet, so all base layers need to be either a synthetic fiber like capilene or a high-end natural fiber like merino wool. These materials stay warm when wet and also maintain breathability while hiking. On my upper body, I'll either wear a short or long sleeve base layer top. Next comes a mid-layer, which could be either a lightweight fleece or a thicker base layer. A favorite is the A.D. Bauer Cloud Layer Pro Pullover. On top of that, I'll want a synthetic jacket or down puppy. Finally, a shell jacket completes the package. This is typically a hard shell, but I might toss in a soft shell jacket as well, as they are quite a bit more breathable when touring. On my legs, most days I'll wear a soft shell pair of pants. My favorite are the Eddie Bauer Guide Pro Ski Tour Pants. If it's a deep pow day or actively storming, I'll opt for a pair of hard shells. Regardless of which pants I choose, I'll throw on a pair of long underwear bottoms if it's cold out. These layers are just the basics. I'll scale up or down depending on the expected conditions of the day. On a cold and windy day, I'll make sure my puffy jacket is thick and warm, and I'll bring a heavier hard shell jacket. On a warmer spring day, I might ditch the mid-layer and bring a lightweight puffy and keep my lightweight hard shell in the pack, choosing instead to wear a soft shell jacket for breathability. There are numerous layering options. Your guide will help you choose the right combo for your tour. On top of clothing, I'll always have sunglasses and a sun hat and goggles and a beanie. A helmet always tops my head when I'm descending, even in the backcountry. I'll bring a lightweight pair of gloves for touring in warm weather and a thicker pair for cold temps and descending. Your average ski or snowboard glove is usually fine for this warmer glove, but remember to bring a lightweight pair for touring. There are a few other items that are important to have on a ski tour. Sunscreen is a must, as well as food and water for the day. I'll bring a 20 to 30 liter backpack, and I strongly recommend a touring specific pack, as these packs store avalanche safety gear very efficiently and carry well. Next comes the technical gear. You'll of course need touring skis or a split board, as well as boots, poles, and climbing skins. Touring skis and split boards are different than regular alpine gear as they have a backcountry specific binding that allows uphill travel. Avalanche safety gear consists of an avalanche transceiver, probe, and shovel, and is a must on any backcountry tour. Alpenglow rents all these items. Make sure you reserve anything you need in advance as supplies are limited. If you have everything discussed in this video, you'll be ready to get out there and crush the day. We can't wait to ski and ride with you.